We'll teach you an easy and fun way to learn and remember Maya numbers. Maya numbers are a vigesimal numeral system, a system of 20, which means it's based on number 20 as base. And the reason it's pretty simple, because Maya people used to count with all of their fingers and toes, with all 20 digits, and only three glyphs were used. The dot, which we will imagine it to be a finger, the bar, which we will compare to a hand or a foot, and the zero. Yes, Mayans invented the zero independently in our old world. Let's begin with our assistant, Denis. One is one finger, hence represented by one dot. Two is two fingers, or two dots. Three is three fingers, or three dots. Four is four fingers or four dots, and five is all five fingers joined together, one hand represented by one bar. Six is one hand and one finger. Seven is one hand and two fingers. Eight is one hand and three fingers. Nine is one hand and four fingers. Ten is all ten fingers, two hands represented by two bars. And this goes on like that, including feet. So let's add. Since it has five toes, hence one bar. 10 can be two feet, two bars. 15, two feet and one hand, three bars. And you can sum up all the way to the number 19. Now stop. No, really, stop at 19. Uh, I know, I know you have an extra finger left. Thing is, we cannot express 20 with our fingers and toes, because if we did, then how would we continue to 21? So, Denis is at 19. Here comes the fun, because we'll need an extra set of fingers and toes. Like, literally. And for this, we'll need a clone of Denis. The first Denis will lower her arms, representing not, zero. But the new Denis will walk up to a new mathematical dimension. So, we copy-paste, and voila, this is 20. In this new level, the new Denis starts a new count, and each value is worth times 20. In other words, each dot, bar, or not is multiplied by 20. So one dot, one finger, would have a value of 20 in this new dimension. And all numbers in the first dimension, obviously, are multiplied by 1. If nothing goes in the first level, you still have to express it with a 0 to confirm a new level, because both levels are added. 20 plus 0 equals 20. So remember, in the first dimension all values will be times 1. And never forget 0 to represent NOT, for it indicates a new level is added. In the second dimension, all numbers have a value times 20. So the second Denis will begin to count. 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380. And here we go again, there is no 400. So we have to clone another Denis and send her up another dimension to begin a brand new count. This is the Mayan number for 400. One Denis with one finger in the uppermost level and two Denis with their arms down representing not for each lower dimension. This because all numbers represented in the third level are multiplied times 400 and all results in all the levels are added in our mind. Yes, even zeros. In this case, 400 plus 0 plus 0 equals 400. And so, the third Denis begins to count. 2000, 4000, 4400, 4800, 5200, 5600, 6000, 6400, 6800, 7200, 7600. And here we go again. Nope. No 8,000, y'all have to send another Denis up to a new level to begin a new count. 
In our minds, we copy paste her. And there you go, the Mayan number 8000. The fourth Denis with one finger and three Denis below her with her arms down, representing not, expressed with a dot in the fourth dimension. This because all values in this fourth dimension are multiplied by 8000. Remember, the dimensions below that one are multiplied times 400, 20, and 1, respectively. And all of the results are added. 8000 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 8000. So the fourth Denny begins to count. 40,000 80,000 88,000 96,000 104,000 112,000 120,000 128,000 136,000 144,000 152,000 And again, we would have to go up a new dimension to start with 160,000 And this would go on and on and on adding new dimensions ad infinitum And each new level would be elevated times 20. And hence, we would count millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions, sextillions, septillions, octillions, and so forth, ad infinitum. Always multiplying times 20 to add a new level. And all of these numbers can be expressed in Maya numerals. For instance, this is the Maya number for 41 octillions, 943 septillions, 40 sextillions. Any number can be expressed in Maya numbers. Now here's a small exercise. Can you calculate which number is this just by looking at the Mayan glyphs? You can pause the video and take your time. Let's get our mind working. If you don't want to pause the video or get your mind working and just want to wait for the result, oh well, we'll show you. So y'all gonna clone Denis in your minds because you know in real life it's quite a hassle. The upper level Denis raises her hand in full. Let me just copy paste. The mid level Denis raises just one finger. Alrighty, copy paste. The lower level Denis crosses her arms, wanting nothing to do with the whole ordeal, but still present, like the zero. So there's the number. And there are my clones. Again, the easiest way before you memorize the numbers is to multiply them according to each dimension. Hence, a bar, which is 5 times 400, equals 2000. A dot, times 20 equals 20 and 0 times 1 equals 0 no shocker there we are 2000 plus 20 plus 0 and the result is our mystery number 2020 now you know how to calculate and write Maya numbers <laughs>